Women and children are the people who are most vulnerable to the water crisis. And second, sustainable solutions to the global water crisis will not be found without engaging and understanding women's unique relationship to water. We can all agree that billions of people lacking access to clean water and sanitation is one of the colossal failures of the modern era. And that millions of people dying each year because of lack of clean water is a human rights tragedy and is absolutely unacceptable. The problem, it seems, is not merely a lack of aid, technology, or infrastructure. Instead, it is a failure of vision and will. It's the vision and will to put aside the paralyzing debates over privatization versus government ownership and instead embrace the notion of water as a human right and focus on community scale infrastructure, efficiency and conservation, solutions that women hold the key to because of their critical role in delivering water supply and hygiene to their families and communities. Women know the solutions because they are the first to experience the problems. It is primarily women who gather water irrigate crops, ensure good hygiene, and help stop the spread of water-related diseases. It is mothers, aunts, and sisters who often are the ones who care for those who become sick from poor quality water. Because of limited water and the absence of hygiene facilities, far too many women have to drop out of school when they reach puberty, an unacceptable problem that discriminates specifically against women. In far too many places around the globe, it is women who literally must carry the burden of supplying water as they walk an average of 15 kilometers a day, spending up to eight hours collecting water that might not even be safe to drink. In short, women are at ground zero of the world's water problems. Communities that do not empower women when it comes to water do so at their own peril. Exclusion of women from decision making and management of water resources ensures poor results. Women know that not every water problem needs a large dam, billions of dollars of investment, or grand engineering solutions. Instead, they are the first to recognize that sustainable solutions come in many different shapes and sizes. Women must be empowered, trained, and recognized as great agents of change within their families and communities, particularly when it comes to water. One of the key reasons, if not the main, that President Gorbachev founded Green Cross International in 1993 was to protect the world from conflicts, especially those fought over natural resources. He long ago saw that the nations would be fighting over shared water resources from, for control and survival, calling water the new oil. Women around the world, as great peace brokers, must be more and more empowered to take charge of water issues in their communities with a view to promoting peace.